What it is, y'all, it's your old boy Pill, and you guys know what is happening. We have some serious, serious news to discuss. Let's just jump in. Part two of the anniversary is here, and uh, we have some details. Let's get into it, okay? So, Knights of Fianna, uh, clear all the quests and get an all four-star 11 draw. And Dream Redeem. This was actually... This looks like a... Is this... Are we getting another all four-star? No, because we already got that dim. I don't know. Don't know what's up with that. Did we not get all dupes? I thought we got all dupes for dim. Because uh, his, uh, his stuff runs out today. I think the rewards for maxing dim run out today. So, by the way, guys, if you haven't maxed him out, which I actually haven't, so I need to eat on that, your rewards run out here shortly, unless they extend it for some reason. But I thought we had all the dupes, unless I'm mistaken. Anyway. Uh, wow. We just jumped right into spoilers. Well, if you didn't read this, the, the part one story, there you go. Uh, the, uh, the monarchs of the kingdom are not good people. But still better than Lazar. Moving on. Clear all quests to get 400 hours. This is what we're looking at here. So. Clear all quests to get 400 hours. Good stuff there. Sorry guys, I pulled the screenshots down. I didn't actually check them. So that's on me for not double checking the screenshots. So if you, if you didn't know. Yeah, Fianna died. Uh, the king and queen are complete pieces of human garbage. Still better than Lazar. And now we uh, we get all we clear all the quests down. We'll get four hundred iris. Now the nice part is, and we'll get to it here in a moment. Uh, you might not need as much iris for this as you think, but there's a caveat to that, and we'll discuss. Okay, a curtain rises on a new story set ten years after the events of Knights of Glory. So basically, at the end of that story, we have a ten year time skip. We already saw uh, Dim calls himself Finn now and seeks to avenge his fallen comrades. Clear the last quest on very hard to receive 400 iris. Get a four-star guaranteed ticket on the 15th round of the event. Gotcha. Begins July 21st. That will be July 20th for all of us. That is tomorrow, y'all. Tomorrow. This kicks off. Characters in this story will be King Cormac, Green, Green, the Evil Queen, uh, Felice, Lazar, and Finn. Uh, there's a few other characters which we'll get to here in a moment, but these are the main ones. Uh, okay, here's a few more. Finnegus, that is, uh, basically the diete that, uh, that Dim had spoken to at the end of the last story. Alf, Devil, and Rowan, which if you haven't noticed, kind of all related to Alfric and his brothers. Uh, so, interesting stuff. Well, the last one, Rowan, kind of looks like, uh, kind of looks like, um, uh, uh, Al from FMA, doesn't he? A little bit. When he, when he like, had, had a body. Uh, so, interesting stuff. Artificial hero Finn. Remember, this is Dim, just now calling himself Finn. Stats. HP are 4524. Another wild HP number here. MP337. Uh, we're almost in, like, quad S territory for physical attack. 2190 is just nutty. Uh, 782 for defense means he's going to be really tanky. Uh, 957 for dex and 904 for agility means he's not terribly quick. Is he going to be... He's not single... Is he, he's, he's, he's an AoE. He's not single target. I don't know why his agility is so low. That'd be a bit odd. But we have all the stats for him. So skill 1 for, for Finn will be 49 MP cost, foe singular, super dark physical attack with ultra penetration rate. He is an AoE, trust me. You just built upside down like the other units. Uh, skill damage, 90% per self strength buff skill and 30% HP heal. So a good number there. And uh, like Fianna, like his single target attack is still going to be really, really, really good. Skill two is a 133 MP cost foes, plural super dark physical attack with 30% HP steal. Yes, he steals HP. He's going to heal himself, which is amazing. And removes agility, guard rate, and physical resistance buffs. Oof. All right. Well, war game just got interesting again. Has been actually for a while. Three additional actions: foes plural, mid dark physical attack, 
with self 30% MP heal and KO protection times one if HP is 5% or better. Removed if HP is less than 5%. So, wow, that's, that's pretty good. Skill three is a 196 MP cost. Oof, can only get that one off once or twice. Uh, self, 60% of HP heal and 60% uh, of HP regen for five turns. Let what? Hold up. All right. So let's just talk for a second. You know what? No, no, I'm going to save this for tomorrow's video. We'll talk about how to use this guy in tomorrow's video because this is nuts. Nuts. Strength Dex, Physical Resist, Magic Resist, plus 60%, and Dark Attack Damage, plus 100% for five turns. Damn. Dude, he's bonkers. Finn is a must-have, y'all. SA is a Foes Plural Ultra Dark Physical Attack with Ultra Penetration Rate, Skill Damage, plus 90% per Self Strength Buff, and add four additional actions, Foes Plural High Dark Physical Attack, with self 30% MP heal, MP heal, mind you guys, MP heal, mind you, and KO protection plus one if HP is 5% of max group. So, yeah, dim, dim, Finn is going to be every kind of bonkers. Next unit. Y'all know who this is. This is the whole reason 90% of us are not going to max out Finn. I don't like you. Lazar, everybody. Literally the absolute worst character that's ever been introduced into this game. 4628 HP, that was wild. 2178 for physical attack and 838 for defense, uh, plus 884 for dex and 1210 for agility. Damn. Damn. Lazar, skill one, 56 MP cost, foe singular, super light physical attack. He's a light type. With Ultra on Guard Rate, Skill Damage plus 90% uh, per Self Heal buff rate, and Allies 10% HP Heal and Remove Ailments. He's the White Mage. That's a good skill right there. Uh, and once again, he's got 90% on Single Target, so he'll actually be really good in Record Buster. Uh, skill 2 is a 95 MP cost, Foes Plural, Super Light Physical Attack, and Self Agility guard rate and 60% AOE damage taken down 60% for four turns. Okay. And add four additional actions, foes plural, mid light physical attack with ultra and guard rate, skill damage 40% per self heal rate buff skill. So he gets a 40% on his skill two. Skill three is a 71 MP cost allies fast. Strength, heal rate, light attack damage, physical resist, magic resist, all plus 40%. For all allies, mind you. For all allies. That's a big power creep on that. Uh, per self. Okay. I'm sorry. I got I, I went back to skill two. Uh, so, once again. Light attack damage, physical resistance, magic resistance, all 40% for four turns for, for all allies. And foes, strength magic and penetration rate down 40% for four turns. Lazar curse on this one won't be so bad because Lazar is really good, but I really do want to max both. As much as I meme about Lazar after, the, or after our last summons, um, this unit is really, really, really good. You really want both of these. And of course, because Lazar is here, you already know Felice is going to be here. It's been 10 years since we've seen Felice. And as an assist, which you already know she's going to be, HP is 1028, MP is 234, physical attack is 632. She'd be pretty decent to, atta to attach to physical units. Not amazing, but pretty good. Uh, here's where the downside is. So her uh, endurance is 402, 
her dex is 408 and her agility is 405 so she really is just kind of built for physical units only she's not really you know amazing in any other respect but allies another power creep on this one at maximum break she's allies strength plus 25 percent and counter rate plus 15 percent so she's gonna be a must for your strength teams the downside is she doesn't have the best strength stat on her herself but with some of the buffs that these units have now i think that'll still be fine we're kind of spoiled by units that are in the 700s but i still think she's going to be quite good quite 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 good those are your new units guys only one banner for the anniversary we'll get to what i mean by that here in a moment so just this banner and double four star rates or so they claim I think it's double two-star rates again. <laughs> no, no, I, I really, really, really hope, really, really, really hope that we actually do see some double rates and some good pulls. The round one, just, man, part one just wrecked everybody I saw. Round one was brutal, y'all. And the nice part is because this, uh, uh, because this is one banner, you have a little more leniency, but not a huge amount. And I'll kind of discuss why here in a moment. But remember, double four-star rates are not just for the gacha units. They're for any general pool unit. So just because you get a four-star does not mean you're getting a uh, uh, one of the new units. It could be anybody. With the exception that first, fourth, seventh, and tenth draws are guaranteed to be somebody from the banner. Uh, but the rest of the rainbows could be anybody from the general pool. Which isn't, isn't terrible, if I'm honest. It could be a lot worse. But... I'm wishing everyone the best of luck here because I don't know about you guys. I desperately needed it. My summons were burned on part one. Of course, there will also be a heroic trial. Make sure you guys finish up your heroic trials if you haven't already. I dropped videos on those a couple weeks ago. Um, the current heroic trials will be expiring tonight. Uh, so you need to make sure you pull those out. You don't necessarily have to pull the, pull the dupes. Uh, tonight um you will have an extra week they'll be sitting uh in your bins i'll show you guys how to access those later on but for now you definitely need to make sure that you finish up the current heroic trials uh because the new one drops tomorrow the new banners and everything drop tomorrow anime campaign information so this is where we're going to get interesting stuff jp anime specials log in to get a new four-star adventure bell as a present okay new bell y'all we haven't had a new bell in quite a bit of time I think it was the manga event over over a year ago no no that manga event was uh, february that was, i was like it hasn't been a year but it has been a long time it's been nearly six months since we've gotten a bell which is a long time frankly for the pro tag it's a huge insane amount of time um in my mind it, it just felt like it's been in, in eons ago so 4406 hp uh, 341 MP, 552 physical. So he's a magic unit. 2040 for magic. It's a really good magic stat. 1212 for agility is a really good number. Uh, endurance is even pretty high for a magic unit. 628. Then we are now in the 800s for physical units. So you know it's, it is what it is. Um, and 874 for decks. I kind of feel like the high 500s, low 600s are going to become the new squish level for magic units. And that, that is an, an absolutely insane power creep. Absolutely insane. You also have to obviously take the passives into, into account here, but that is a wild, wild power creep, even over what we got last year. So it just, it shows you what the anniversaries do for this game. It really does make the old units completely irrelevant. Uh, in a way, I do kind of miss the days where they would take old units and rebalance them so they were... If not completely on par, at least, like, usable, is those days are long gone. Just the passives and everything alone just literally make it impossible for units to keep up now. Okay. Special gotcha. Weekly first time free 11 draw. So you get a free 11 draw. And it looks like 4-star guaranteed. It looks like that might be 4-star guaranteed. Because it isn't rainbow. I'd be shocked, because we have the daily free right now. So I'd be shocked if that isn't 4-star guaranteed. Every week, when an, when an episode drops. So, that's yeah, wild. 
Of course, Bell will be in a banner here. Uh, and it looks like Hestia will be along with him. You guys know when we get the anime banners, usually it's just two units on it. So it makes it a little more comfy. Bell's new weapon is Hakugen. Not going to explain it. If you've read the light novels, you know the whole thing behind this. Anime side story episode one, first time clear reward, unicorn horn times 30, rank up new adventurer bell times uh, to, to five star, rank up new adventurer bell to six star, rank up new adventurer bell to level 600, and you'll get all the unicorn horns you need in order to craft the new weapon. Anime link special stories released every week. So we're going to get special stories uh, that line up with the uh, season four of the anime. Uh, guys, I will be doing episode reviews on the channel. I'll try to do them the day it releases, but they, they do tend to get a little cumbersome to produce sometimes. Uh, but I'll try to get them out as quickly as I can uh, without interrupting our current schedule. <laughs> what, 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 the schedule you should be on uh, too much, but um, we will be talking about this. And I have been reading the light novels, so I will be able to do some side-by-side -side comparisons. It'll be a lot of fun. Anime Celebration Presents. Get luxurious items as presents every week after the uh, the week's episode has aired in Japan. Uh, I believe, unless I'm mistaken, I believe it's High Dive that's doing the... Uh, the uh, I, I believe they're the ones that are actually doing the simulcast on this. If it's not simulcast, it's actually pretty close. So, it'd be really nice. We'd be able to see... Uh, be able to at least get the episode pretty quickly. Episode 1, we're going to get 200 Iris. Episode 2, in the of the air dates... Episode 2, we're going to get 100 potato snacks. I really don't even need those, but I'll take it. Uh, Exilia books and dungeon cakes for episode 3. Dungeon cakes times 50. Nice. Meat fruit times 100. Spoiler for what episode 4 is about, if you don't know. Uh, episode 5, Exilia books and 200 ballast. Episode 6 will be Hero Fall No Times 30. I also think I know what units then going to drop with episode 4. Um... Don't spoil, guys. If you've watched the, uh, or if you've read the light novels, do not spoil it in the comments, please. That is super, super, super rude. Let people get this organically. Um, I, I know I'm teasing it a little bit, but let's just be kind to the people that don't know. Let let them just enjoy it and appreciate it. Spoilers are just just the rudest thing ever. Big bouquets times fifty valid. Well, I guess not ever, but whatever. Big bouquets times 50, Valus times 200 for episode uh, 7. Episode 8 will be Books of Nobility times 50. Nice. Episode 9 will be Mystic Hammers and Mystic Bellows. Blow those bellows and get you a Goibnu lock. One of the three you need for anything, which is ridiculous. Ascension Fallen times 15, and Hero Light times what? Hold up. Hero Light times 10, and Iris times 400 for the final episode, which is airing in October... Or, sorry, yeah, airing, looks like 9.29. So, uh, yeah. Okay. That's, uh, that's a biggie right there. Ten Hero Lights is, is cash money in this game. So, that's a big present. That's a big present. So, season four coming, guys. This week, in fact. Treasure hunt available. Now I don't have a huge amount of information on this, but I think we have another uh, page over here showing this. That, but uh, third grade will be forty iris. Six, uh, third, second grade is sixty. First grade is eighty. Top grade is one hundred. Let's check this out. What is this about? Okay, starting tomorrow, you can play treasure hunt once per day, up to fourteen times during the event period. Okay, resets at four o'clock every day. Uh, a login bonus where uh, where the available rewards change for each unit. Treasure is available. Choose one unit to go hunting out of the three displayed and get luxurious rewards. So it's choose one unit to go hunting out of three display. So is it chance? I guess? That's all it says. That's really all it gives us. I, I just love to see how that plays out. When the first one drops tomorrow, we'll talk about it. I think it's going to drop when we're streaming tomorrow night. So we'll drop a quickie video on that tomorrow night. Login bonuses, guys. 10 Hero Fauna. Uh, 50, uh, 50 Iris. 5 Ascension Fauna. 50 more Iris. 3 Hero Lights. 
50, uh, 50 more Iris, and a four-star 11-draw ticket. Y'all, the anniversaries and the anime uh, lineups and all this, and they are always just giving us so much stuff. It's wild. Absolutely wild. Anime campaign list. I'm watching season four countdown login bonus. Uh, log in and get a four-star new adventurer bell on first login after 721. That's tomorrow. Uh, special login bonus treasure hunt is available. Anime side story 721 updates every Thursday at 2.33. So, guys. Y'all. It's real, and it's here. JP 5th Anniversary Part 2 Event Introduction Part 2. This is another event introduction. Okay. So, Knights of Fiona, double gotcha rate for four-star units. I believe this is exactly... This is the literally the same banner we just got. There's nothing new about this. This is just that same exact banner. Um... Ooh, man, look at all that Irish for login bonuses. They did say they are going to drop, what, like 10, 12k, something like that on this, so I'm not shocked by this, but that is a ton of Irish, guys. Uh, all main stories are still uh, stamina one-third. I believe that's been going on for a while. Weapon upgrade support campaign. Make sure you guys are upgrading the weapons for your new units. Um, I've been pretty terrible about it myself, but make sure you guys get out there and upgrade those. Uh, bonus Iris campaign. This resets pretty much every month. Uh, so, 400, 400 Iris once. This is one time only. Last time was three times. Uh, 400 paid Iris for the cost of 300 and 1600 for the cost of 1400 So, basically, you're talking 20 bucks and 80 bucks. So, yeah. It's it's a good value. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a, It's a stupendous value for what you're getting. And here is everything wrapped up into one little screen, but we've already talked about that. Let's move on. So schedule starting 721. That's this week. Okay. We're obviously getting the new story with the 400 free. We're getting the new gotcha. We're getting new bundles. Guys, if you didn't see my video yesterday, I pulled finally down the uh, mega bundle A and B for uh, for for the uh, the part one story, those bundles paid out very 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 well for me, as they generally always do. I, it they can't technically do it, but it always feels like the rates on those bundles are better. Uh, plus, as I said before, considering how much this is canonized in the franchise, you're basically supporting the franchise. So, I like those bundles personally. Heroic Trial, another free-to-play way to upgrade units. I, guys, I'm not just going to sit here and tell you guys to wail in the game. I am super about the free-to-play aspect of this game. So we are going to talk about that a lot. A lot. Anybody who's been watching the channel for a long time knows that. That's literally one of the things I tout most about this game. Is it wrong to pick up Girls in the Dungeon? Damachi Season 4. Uh, anime Gacha, of course, and it says Side Story because we're going to get Side Stories... Uh, for every episode here, uh, basically in the game, uh, the anime gotcha, which will be live, basically this the post the uh, post the episode. Um, we're getting a free bell tomorrow, so the second, fourth, seventh, and tenth draws uh, to max out bell will basically come alive. Uh, treasure hunt, which we looks like it's gonna be RNG based. I hope not. Bonus Iris campaign, we already talked about. Um, Wrecker Buster. Wrecker Buster will be back this week. And this Revis once again, who I, I'd take her over Otaro any day of the week. Otaro is such an RNG nightmare. Uh, seventh Zone. Of course, you guys, remember Seventh Zone runs out tonight, so you got your new Seventh Zone scene coming tomorrow. And then Schedule 722. We are talking the login bonus kicks off. That's a ton of Iris. We are talking Schedule 728, Familia War Games. So next week, Familia War Game happens, and of course with Familia War Game, Training War Game. So your current uh, War Game runs are going to be your pre-round for FWG. So make sure you get good results tonight. Super important, guys. And then Schedule 8-1. This is uh, the fun one, guys. New Memoria available. This new Memoria is turns 8 to 15 once again, and once you have this unit maxed out, Anyway, once you have this unit maxed out, uh, it becomes a magic plus six 
for turns 8 to 15. I love these late game units. They're very, very good for EX missions and whatnot. And we've needed a magic one. We've had a strength one. We now have a magic one. So very, very, very nice. Uh, combo with another item. This is the monthly Iris thing that I was referencing before. Hero light times 10. Remember, that's, that's, that's why I always say this is money. This is a $40 pack. At Hero Light times 10, they value those Hero Lights anymore at like a buck to a buck 50 uh, Hero Lights. So when they're giving you 10, they're giving you money. Undertale Skira is going to reset once again. The current Undertale Skira runs out in a few days, so make sure you guys are getting those runs in. Everything that we have discussed right here and even more right here i'm exhausted guys that is a ton of information we'll talk about the new units tomorrow incoming uh, but for now like comment and share i'll be back with more damage for you guys really soon